also check this out guys we are back with a brand new episode on the channel welcome my friends to my general tiny account now before we actually get into this episode i have got a really important announcement to make guys obviously winter jam is ending in 20 hours so i think channel 13 is going to be coming tomorrow and we have finally decided what we're going to be doing here on this channel guys so let me quickly go into the clan and let's go to my main village where is it guys there it is okay this account is my main account it is 100% maxed out and we will be gemming everything at town or 13 all on this one account guys so anything you want to see me gem, let me know down below in that comment section, the new hero, the new troop, the new siege barracks, whatever you want to see, let me know whichever one gets the most comments will be the first item we gem to max level. But all the gemming to max will be happening on this account and this account only. Then if we go back into the clan and we find ourselves our Captain Tony account guys, this my friends is also going to be going to town or 13 and this is going to be a farm to max so we're going to be farming everything to max level on this account and we will not really be doing any gem sprees at all on the captain tony village guys and that means we have got one final decision now some of you are going to think this is crazy but i think it will make a really really fun episode we are going to be taking this account with level 1 defenses also to town or level 13 guys as a rushed to max series so we're going to have one account which is going to be gem to max one account which is fun to max and one account which is rushed to max hopefully it's going to make a really really fun series here on the youtube channel but before we do that guys before we gem this account before we take this to town or 13 we need to max out our final army camp and we're going to get ourselves into some live attacks to get all new level max army camps. Okay, so here we go, guys. This has got half a million elixir. It should be enough with the loot bonus to take us to the amount we need. I think it was like 700,000, guys. Fingers crossed. We're going to be able to get enough from this raid. As I said, we just got our Barbarian King back. So we're going to be using the Jolly King again in our farming strategies, guys. How are we going to start this off? I'm going to start with the Electro Dragon with a Rage Spell. Not just yet, actually. Let's wait for it to take out this Elixir Pump at the top of the base. And we've got three Elixir Storages on this side and the Dark Elixir. So we're probably going to funnel in from this side of the base, guys, to get as much of this loot as possible. Let's wait and see, though. Let's wait and see what this Electro Dragon's going to do. Going straight in towards that Mortar. Let's rage it up again, guys. And let's take this dude's base out. Here we go. Oh, it's just fallen out of the rage. Now it's back in. Let's get that freeze ready. For the air defense, we took it out. And we're going to go with another rage, guys. Triple rage on this electro dragon. And we're already up to 20% total damage. That is incredible. Can we get a couple of shots off onto the eagle? No, we can't. And the Electro Dragon goes down. But we got two Elixir Storages already, which is awesome, guys. Now all we need is like 500,000 Elixir. So, let's come in from... I'm still going to come in from the bottom, but I'm going to make a bit more of a funnel towards this west side of the base, guys. Baby Dragon's going to take out the Gold Collector. And we're going to take out the Army Camp. And I think we should be good to go, guys. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Full attack. Let's do this. War Wrecker, King, Grand Warden. Healers on the back. Let's rage everything up, guys. Get all the wizards in. Baby Dragon at the bottom. And let's break ourselves into this dude's base. Final rage spell. Freeze on the eagle. And we are looking good with the king's ability. There he goes. There goes the Grand Warden's ability as well, guys. Hopefully we can grab ourselves just a one star. That's all we're looking for. Minion's going to come in from the bottom, taking out the cannon. There goes the Dark Elixir Storage. We're up to 46, guys. Come on, we can do this. Here we go. 47. Eagle Artillery is going to go down. The cannon at the bottom getting taken out by the Minion. We only need two more buildings, guys. It's going to be a close one. There's 49. 49. 
And the mortar is just about going to go. Yes, there it is. 50% one star. Let's end that there. And let's see what we got, guys. Did we get enough? Not quite. Okay. I think we're about three, 400,000 elixir short, guys. So we're going to need to get ourselves straight into a second live attack. Let's quickly train up another army. So let's go for a quick train. And let's go into live attack number two, guys. Now, we actually need a considerable amount. So we're going to need to look for something massive. This isn't good enough, guys. Let's gem up the Grand Warden. And let's see what we can find. Here goes nothing, guys. Looking for a total of at least, at least six to 700,000 elixir. That's what we need. Ask and you shall receive, guys. Take a look at that. That is what I call a juicy 700,000 elixir. And the good thing is, a lot of it is inside of these collectors, guys. Especially right there. So what are we going to do? We're going to start with the baby dragons to funnel some of these weaker buildings. We've got an elixir collector there we're going to grab. Let's grab that dark elixir as well. And I'm going to use a single wizard to take out that dark elixir in the drill. And we are going to use the electro dragon down here, guys, with a couple of rage spells, probably, and the free spell to take out all this elixir in these collectors. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, it's going to eat an air mine. Damn, that sucks, guys. We missed two of the collectors there, but we still got a couple of hundred thousand elixir already. So let's see what we're going to do. Where should I come in from? I've got a good plan. Let's use a double giant and two wizards to take out that elixir. Oh, damn. Check that out. That didn't go to plan. Two more wizards. Elixir pump is going to go down. Wow, guys. That mortar kills my wizards in a single shot. That's incredible. That's how low level my wizards actually are. But let's start with the funnel. I'm going to come in with a grand warden, guys. Drop all the healers down. He's going to start picking off those buildings. And we are gonna, we're gonna have to come in for a full scale attack again. We are already activating the Eagle Artillery. What is going on here? This is incredible. This base is probably way too high level for my troops, guys. Let's see if we can grab as much loot as possible and then maybe run away. And we're probably gonna have to go in for another base, guys. Let's pretty much leave this here. Let's end it real quick. Take what we got. Still got 400,000 elixir. So we got a lot. We got a lot. And now all we need, let's check. What is it? 200,000. We're so close, guys. So close. Let's head into live attack number three. Okay, here we go. This should be the final attack of the episode. A dead town hall level 12. We're looking for that one star. We're taking all the loot. Let's get going, guys, and destroy this dude's base. Should be a lot easier than all the previous attacks because it is a dead base. Electro Dragon Rage. We're going to use the Baby Dragons to pick off any extra buildings. And I'm going to go with the Grand Warden, I think, right about there. And the healers behind, guys. Okay, so we don't need to worry about waking up the Grand Warden. Sorry, the Eagle Artillery because it is already dead. Electro Dragon's going to go down. Let's get some minions in to pick off these extra buildings. And let's go for another baby dragon on these gold collectors. One more on the cannon and this gold collector here. And I think we're going to attack from the top, guys, where the Grand Warden is. That looks like the best spot. So, let's see. We don't have any more baby dragons. Let's do this. Let's come in from this side because I did notice... There was a couple of collectors over on the right, guys. Gonna go with a double rage spell. Dropping the wall breakers towards the bottom of the base. Let's go with the Grand Warden's ability. Save as many of those troops as possible, guys. The wizard's gonna take out the collectors. Two more rage spells are gonna go down. And we're already closing in on that 40% mark, guys. There it is. There goes the king's ability. It looks like we are definitely gonna be upgrading... This army camp in a few moments, guys. Let's see if we can get some of that Dark Elixir. And I think it's pretty much time to end the raid right about here. Let's do a little bit more damage. May as well. 
every penny on the map we are going to get. We're going to get this Dark Elixir drill as well, guys. We've already cleared all the buildings around it. Wizards are just going to take it out now with the minions. And it is the end of the road for this Dark Elixir. Let's steal every penny. Check that out. Almost at 160,000 Dark Elixir, guys. But not bad. All that Elixir. Let's go back and do that upgrade. Here we go. Final army camp. Going to max level, guys. And it's done. 11 days, 3 hours on the upgrade. But we've maxed every single army camp in this base. And we're going to be ready to go to Town Hall 13 as a noob.